Today, let's collect Raven. Hey everyone, welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting in another episode, our 25th episode of Let's Collect. At least I think that's right, if I did my math right. Um, today we're going to be talking about Raven, uh, one of the new Teen Titans, now just Titans. Uh, we recently did a poll where I gave you guys your choice of which female Teen Titan character you wanted me to do next for Let's Collect, and Raven was your choice. Uh, Raven, along with Starfire and Cyborg, were invented by uh, Marv Wolfman and George Perez right at the beginning of their new Teen Titans run uh, back in 1980. And it's been a very integral part of the Teen Titans or the Titans uh, ever since, coming and going from the comics, depending on, you know, her current circumstances. Um, I think a lot of her recent popularity has become a lot more popular in recent years because of the Teen Titans cartoon and the Teen Titans Go cartoon. Those two cartoons really have made her more prominent in most people's minds, I think, than what she used to be. So today we're going to be doing your quick guide to Raven in the comics. Uh, your So this is going to be your guide to the key comics, uh, the important Raven stories, and the fun covers that you can collect if you're interested in Raven as a character, whether it be from the cartoon show or from the comics, uh, and you want to get be able to know what books to chase uh, related to Raven. A quick bit of housekeeping before we dig into the actual key comics for Raven, though. Um, I stopped putting actual prices related to these books because the market is always moving and changing, and it sort of dates these videos. So if you notice recently on these Let's Collect, I just have dollar symbols. Uh, the guide for those is going to show on the screen now. And basically, I'm just that's just a generic guide of about the range these books typically go in uh, so that you can uh, adjust accordingly on the prices. These still might not uh, last forever, but they do last a little longer than giving exact prices at any given time. So with that, uh, let's dig in and talk about the key comics for Raven. Okay, first up, we're going to talk about the Raven keys. And first up is her first appearance in DC Comics Presents number 26. Uh, it's her first appearance, Starfire and Cyborgs, as Wolfman and Perez kind of kick off their run in a preview in this issue. Next, we got New Teen Titans number one, uh, the kickoff of their run on the Teen Titans. Her first cover appearance there in the back. And kind of the second and maybe only other big book for Raven. Next, we have the new Teen Titans number four. And this kind of kicks off her origin story. If you've read any of this, you know, she's she brought the team together. And we find out a little bit about her background and why she did. Next, we have Tales of the New Teen Titans number two that gives her full origin with Trigon and Aurelia. And how Raven came to be and why she's doing what she's doing. Next, we have the new Teen Titans number five from volume two, uh, The Death of Trigon. And, it, and following this event, Raven finally is free of Trigon. Next, we have new Teen Titans number 22, also for volume two. And this is the first time we see Raven in her white costume uh, that comes from after leaving the influence of Trigon. Uh, we got a cartoon only key uh, or cartoon verse only key here teen titans go number 42 the emoticons never appeared in the regular continuity but have appeared in the ca cartoons uh, next we have our first solo dc special raven number one uh, this is a five issue mini series uh, that came out in 2008 and marked her first solo her second solo series raven from 2016 uh, this is her first the number one of that issue uh, and also a very affordable book and then finally, our last key is Raven, Daughter of Darkness, number one, her third solo miniseries. This one, like the last one, was also written by Marv Wolfman uh, and came out in 2018 and was 12 ish. All right, so those were the keys. As you can see, kind of at the end, I was stretching to get to my usual 10, maybe a little bit with just several of her individual series um, getting the number one issues getting listed here. But uh, I think we covered all the main ones. You could argue there's some stuff with when her brothers are introduced and that kind of stuff. But uh, I felt like these were the main ones uh, that were worth 
chasing in terms of keys, but there's always other th other books you can go after as well. Uh, next up, we're going to dig into the Raven storylines. Uh, we got several storylines here to talk about. Most of them, the first couple are from very early uh, in the Wolfman and Perez era, but almost all of them are Wolfman stories that I'm going to list here. Uh, he has been obviously her most most prolific writer, and which is funny because he was the one that had hesitations about the character until he st saw George's design. But yeah, so Wolfman's been the one most associated with her. So most of these are from him, but not all. Plus at the end, we got a little bonus that's maybe not centered on Raven, but it's just a great Teen Titans story. So with that, uh, let's get into the important Raven stories. All right, now we're going to move into Raven's important stories. And it starts with Teen Titan, New Teen Titans Volume 1. Uh, this includes DC Comics Presents 26 and 1 through 8, as well as Tales of Teen Titans 2. And this is really her origin and her bringing the team together to fight Trigon and stop him from taking over the world. Next, we have The Terror of Trigon, which kicked off Volume 2 of the New Teen Titans. Uh, this is issues 1 through 5. And this sees him almost succeed in his efforts to take over the world, uh, but Raven finally come free of his influence. Next, we have Family Loss from Teen Titans Volume 3. Uh, this Jeff Johns story is our only non-Marv Wolfman story here. And this is kind of Raven's return to the comics after a long time uh, being away in the late 90s. Next, we have The White Carnival, Raven Volume 1, 1 through 6. And this is another Wolfman story. And this kind of bridges the gap between all the changes they made with her uh, for the New 52, and then bringing her into the Rebirth era at DC Comics. And then finally, we have Raven, Daughter of Darkness, both Volumes 1 and 2, all 12 issues, also written by Marv Wolfman. Uh, Trigon's back, and Ra can Raven stop him and avoid the influence he has over her? And finally, we have a bonus story. We have Uncanny X-Men and the New Teen Titans. Uh, this one-shot... A lot, it's just a great Teen Titans story. A lot of people uh, always include like the Judas Contract whenever they do these things. I thought I would include this one uh, if you're just looking for good Teen Titans stories. All right, so those were our stories. And again, I threw that last one in just, uh, you know, for a little bit of fun. Uh, it's a, just a great Teen Titans story. Maybe uh, everyone recommends the Judas Contract for everything related to these characters. but And definitely you couldn't go wrong with that. But we tried to avoid that for these, at least. And so I thought I'd throw in that other bonus uh, Teen Titans story. All right, so that leaves us with the covers. And Raven probably has a lot fewer covers than a lot of other characters, uh, especially female characters. Usually get a lot of really good solo covers. Not a ton, but there are enough uh, that are definitely worth chasing. A reminder on how I usually do the covers is I don't use any of the keys. So no... Uh, Tales of the New Teen Titans number two, which is obviously uh, maybe the most famous uh, cover related to Raven. Uh, so that won't be listed here because we already talked about it in the keys. Um, and I try to limit how many times I go back to the well on any single artist. Uh, usually trying to limit to one, but not always. In this case, I had to include two Perez covers. You'll see them as we go through the list. Um, these aren't in any particular order other than, well, I guess they are in an order oldest to newest is the way I did these 10. I didn't necessarily rank them on my favorites or anything like that. So here are my choices uh, for 10 fun Raven covers that you might be interested in collecting. All right, so let's dig into those Raven covers. First up, we're of course gonna start with George Perez, the new Teen Titans. Volume 1, number 31, just a great Raven cover with her, the Raven symbol behind her. Just a gorgeous cover I really enjoy. Next, we have a little out of character with this New Teen Titans, Volume 2, number 39. Uh, she's just returned from being free of Trigon's influence and her and Starfire are celebrating and that's shown here on the cover. Next, we have another Perez. We have New Teen Titans, number 43 from Volume 2. Uh, if that isn't a Spawn style cape, I don't know what there is, but I love her in that white costume. Just a gorgeous cover. Next, we have Teen Titans, Volume 3, Number 8. This Mike McCone cover celebrating her return uh, to the comics after a long hiatus. And just a great and classic Raven cover. Next, we have DC Special, Raven Number 4. This Damian Scott cover shows her in that classic meditation pose. Not huge on this art style, but I do really like this particular cover from that series. Next, we have Adam Hughes doing Raven, as well as uh, Wonder Girl and Ra uh, Ravenger. But this Raven cover for Teen Titans number 88 variant, I really, really enjoy. 
Next, we have our thumbnail we've been using all through here. Raven number five. Uh, the Stephanie Hans cover is just absolutely gorgeous, hence I used it for the thumbnail as well as put it here on the list. Next, we got Bruno Rondondo on Titans, number 35 from Volume 3, 2019. He's been killing it on Nightwing and the new Titan, uh, on the Nightwing book, and I just love this Raven cover that he did. Next, we have Tales from the Dark Multiverse, the Judas Contract, these Art Germ store variants uh, of her and Starfire are both gorgeous, but I love this one with Raven. In our final regular cover, we have Titans United, number one, this Kael Young uh, variant from 2021, just an absolutely gorgeous raven cover i really like it all of these are super affordable and then we have a little bonus tales of the titans number two the nicola scott homage to tales of the new teen titans number two uh and this book doesn't come out for a couple weeks so i threw it in as a bonus all right so those were our fun covers um so we've now went through our key comics our important stories and our fun covers for raven uh, I hope you found this informational. I hope you maybe found a few books that might be worth chasing uh, that you didn't know about or didn't realize that's where they occurred. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will be back uh, next time.